Hey everyone, it's me Ryan here. Today we are going to talk about is it possible to fix your burn-in on your OLED screen? Well, to be straightforward, no. However, I'm going to share with you a few ways it can reduce defect and prevent burn-in on OLED screens. We must first understand what is burn-in first. Basically, it's permanent image retention caused by leaving a saturated image and the static also on the display for long periods of time. You also need to know if your phone has an OLED screen. You can first find out whether your phone has an OLED screen by looking at the video now in full screen mode. If your display is a bit greyish at this point when you look from left to right, then it's probably an LCD display. But if your display is black, completely black, it's probably an OLED display. As OLED displays can turn off individual pixels, LCD displays require a backlight. That's why you always have this grey and you don't have the true blacks. If you have an LCD display, you will not get affected by burn-in compared to OLED displays. To prevent burn-in, there's 5 steps that I personally use to prevent it. First, change your navigation bar to a full screen gestures to prevent the buttons from getting permanently burnt into the display. It also gives you a bigger screen real estate. The second way is to prevent leaving an application on the screen for, at max brightness for long periods of time, like using Google Maps in the open for long hours, let's say 2-3 hours, let's say a uh, grab driver or something like that, that will cause burn-in. Third, setting your phone into night mode. This will make it a bit harder for you to notice your burn-in if you already suffer from it, but then this also help you reduce and then so conserve battery at the same time. Fourth is to make sure your phone displays turn off after a short while, let's say like 30 seconds after you're not using it, so that you don't accidentally leave your phone display on for long periods of time, then you'll burn in whatever image is left over there. That's not what you want to do. Fifth, having a wallpaper with a dark background or just a completely blank background also will not only help you save battery and prevent burning too at the same time, but then you also have to notice that the text are often white for your app, so you have to be careful of that too. However, there is a way to lessen the effect of burning by a small margin by using this app called OLED Tools on the Google Store. When you download the app, I recommend you, you set your phone to airplane mode and then you run this thing for about 12 hours. Just make sure you leave your phone plugged in with a proper charger cable and charger to prevent electrical fires as my fake cable that I use got a bit burnt overnight. This will probably like help if you say you just got burnt in because you just left something on the screen on for way too long of the time. But if you say you already have burnt in from a long period already, then this app will do little uh, to help it. Overall, if you find that burn-in annoys you a lot, you're better off replacing the display. Obviously, you don't really want to do that because OLED screens cost a lot to replace. You can just live with it, which is what I do with my phone. So if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, share, comment down below, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.